what do a lot of students think of first? I got to do a research project. What are you going to do? Google. Maybe you're going to Google it, right? It's just that response that history teacher James Stewart is working to change. Having Canadian sources is very important, especially in today's world where there's so much information out there. For decades, one trusted source was the Canadian Encyclopedia, first published in 1985. Paul Workman reports on the ambitious publication of the Canadian Encyclopedia. It's the most important Canadian publishing event in years. 150,000 sets were printed, a lot of them were sold before they ever got to the bookstores. Every school and library in the country will get a set, a gift from the Alberta government. Take a look at this. This is, uh, this is my version. Now that trusted resource is getting a 21st century makeover, aiming to be the go-to online tool for all things Canadian. Well, now that the world is uh, primarily online, I think it's more important than, to, than ever to have a really good place for students, or it's not just for students either, for any Canadian to go and say, oh, here's what some of our story is. Historica Canada is behind the relaunch. It will keep all the original content and add more than 4,000 contributors from writers to scholars. It aims to educate even more. We're a unique country. This is a unique product. As far as we know, there really is nothing else like that. And we believe that this next generation, which is not different from but builds from the existing encyclopedia, just enhances that. It's all about where we're headed and how we get there. So in here, we have set aside some of the images that we are in the process of digitizing. Thousands of images sent in from libraries and personal collections. Like this uh, photograph of Margaret Atwood which is from earlier on in her career. I think I recognize that guy. <laughs> yes, this is Banting and Best, and of course the dog who helped them with their discovery of insulin. And this photo is from, I believe, 1922? 1921. Uh, so this is quite an old one. The website has lots of new features too, including an interactive map that allows Canadians to share their own stories. What we're looking to do here is offer a platform and a space for Canadians to talk about their own stories within the encyclopedia. It's a way of suggesting that, you know, all of our histories matter and all of this sharing is part of what we do when we exchange on the encyclopedia. My story is a story of just about any immigrant to Canada. Sukjit Singh is one of those contributors. He helps new immigrants settle in their adopted home. He wanted to share his message with all Canadians. Home, family, and sea of opportunities here in Canada. You dream it and you can do it here in this country. Now, this is a great honor for me that my story has been put there on Canadian Encyclopedia because I will be reaching out to more people. I will be actually reaching out to every single Canadian. So I do remember um, looking up things in here all the time. Clarice Dale recalls the day her school gave away the Canadian Junior Encyclopedia to every student. So I have this very vivid memory being at school. Kids were trying to fit the books into their backpacks. It was this exciting <laughs> surprise. Kids were walking home from school parading the Junior Encyclopedia's home. For the students of today, an online encyclopedia is something to be thankful for. Well, I'm really glad that I don't have to carry that around with school with me every day and I just have to carry a laptop. Not going to complain about my backpack being heavy ever again. And for others, it helps chart a new course of discovery. Being Canadian and understanding like our past and our history and where we came from. So it's nice to see um, a Canadian website that kind of um, is the epitome of our identity and contains um, things about our past that I didn't even know and it kind of creates the story of Canada back then and Canada now.